Earth is made of rock, soil, and other solid materials. But did you know that Earth's surface is constantly being broken up and moved around? Erosion is the process in which natural forces wear away and move soil and rock. Two very strong forces that cause erosion are wind and water. Water erosion happens when running water washes away the solid materials that make up Earth's surface. This running water can be rainwater, streams, rivers, or even ocean waves. Soil erosion can cause problems. For example, crops have trouble growing when topsoil is washed away from farming areas. This is a common problem for farmers. Soil erosion can also cause more pollution in waterways. In addition, soil erosion can lead to landslides, flooding, and other damaging events. These events are often dangerous and costly. There are several ways to prevent water erosion. One of the easiest solutions is to add new vegetation or plants. Plants help stop water erosion in a few ways. First, their roots grow down into the soil and hold it in place. The parts of the plants that are above ground also help by slowing down the flow of water. This keeps the water from washing away soil. Plants also absorb water. The less water that runs off an area, the less soil erodes. Another solution to stop soil erosion is to build a structure. A dam is one type of structure. It is a barrier that stops or slows the flow of water. Dams can be small or very large in size. They are built across the flow of water, which keeps the water on one side. Dams help prevent flooding in areas where water runoff tends to move very fast. A dike is a similar solution. It is another barrier that controls the movement of water to prevent flooding. Dikes are different from dams. They are built alongside the water, not across it. For example, dikes are often built on riverbanks to prevent flooding along the edges of rivers. Dikes do not stop the water from moving, but they control where it goes. This helps protect the surrounding areas from erosion. A levee is a structure that is similar to a dike. Levees are also built along rivers, streams, and coastlines. Levees are wide banks. They are usually built with dirt, which is then topped with grass or other plants. They prevent water from overflowing and flooding surrounding areas. Retaining walls are one last type of structure that can prevent water erosion. These walls are built to keep the soil behind them from moving. Because retaining walls can be used in many situations, they range in size. Most of these walls are small and used in home landscaping. Retaining walls are usually used to hold land that is sloped rather than flat. They keep runoff from washing away the uneven soil. As you can see, water is a powerful force. It is very useful, but it can also cause damage. Humans can prevent water erosion by stopping or controlling moving water. Think about the area where you live. Try to identify a place where your community has done something to stop or control the flow of water.